I think it's important uh, to to realize that America has been made by uh, different people from different backgrounds. I mean, uh, there's a George Washington and there's a Thomas Jefferson, but there's also a W.E.B. Du Bois and the Booker Washington. And, uh, and, 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 and there, you know, there are all these historical figures that we learn from in history. We learn from Sojourner Truth. We learn from um, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., Ralph Abernathy, Rosa Parks. We, we, if you want to see how dreams are made, look at the American Civil Rights Movement. People were living and working and didn't have the right to go into certain buildings. People are still living in this country who remember the signs that said, colored here, white here. I mean, it's very vivid. The last of the slaves in this country died out in about 1947. I mean, some lived into the uh, 1950s. They would have been little slave children, but still, I mean, these, I mean, there are people living today who shook the hands of slaves. I mean, and so the dream of America is all about the pursuit of justice. It really is. I mean, that's what forms the narrative arc of this, of this nation. It doesn't come easy. It doesn't come easy. It's often embroiled in struggle, um, you know, but it's always, you know, it's always the grand big idea uh, that means so much, that means more than the hatred out there. And I think that's very important. Uh, when I was eight years old, that would have been 1962. Uh, you know, in America, in the South, still uh, very much segregated. Uh, I went to Georgia with my aunt and uncle. They lived in Cincinnati, and they took me down to Georgia, a uh, little town called uh, Statham, Statham, Georgia. And, uh, and there were some other little towns around there, and we would walk down the street, and I would see something in a store window and I would want to go inside. And my aunt would say, no, not right now. Now this was 1962. And it was only later when she explained to me why. You know, there were certain hours when blacks were allowed to go into these stores. You know, and I'm a little kid. And uh, that's so vividly the explanation of why we had this great historic movement in America known as the Great Migration. So many blacks left South Carolina, North Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, got on trains and came north, uh, left Selma, Alabama, as my grandparents did, and came north and settled in cities like, like Columbus, Detroit, uh, Flint, Michigan, New York City, uh, Philadelphia. I mean, that movement that took place in the 1930s, in the 1940s, it altered uh, this nation's history. There is just no doubt about it. I mean, so many artists who were in the South who didn't feel free, they came North. 